All right, now that we have our two-dimensional shape that is now made of vectors, we are going to turn it into a three-dimensional shape using Blender. Okay, so to get started, first we need to export this as a scalable vector graphic. So we go save as, and save as butterfly period SVG. That's just the example based upon what I have. All right, now you should have Blender installed on your computer. You're going to look for this icon. Uh, if you're on a Mac or PC, it's the same icon. And what we need to do is install a keyboard shortcut configuration for it. Okay, so if you're watching any of my videos, I use the same keyboard configuration for all my videos. And because I teach Maya to students, I use this keyboard configuration. It just makes life easier for the student. They can focus on art and not the keyboard so much. Okay, it's easier to learn. Uh, so, uh, to get started, there's a link just below this video. It's a PY. Uh, that's a Python script. And that Python script can be downloaded. And once it's downloaded, you can go to User Preferences go to input and say import key configuration in this case Welsh keyboard PY and then import key configuration go to Maya presets and emulate number pad now save these settings You should probably have a cube in the center. I'm just going to put one in there just to show you the navigation. And then we'll delete it out. So Alt, left mouse should do this. Alt, middle mouse should do this. And Alt, right mouse should do this. If any one of those are missing, it's because you have a Mac mouse and the middle mouse needs to be turned on. So please see your instructor or your user manual for that. <laughs> okay, now hit delete and we can delete this shape. File, import, and we're going to import the SVG scalable vector graphic. Go to desktop, choose butterfly. Now it's there, it's just really tiny. So what we can do is click and drag, click R on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can also click this button right here. You want this white circle, you click on it, and you click and drag a few times, and you're gonna find that you can now perceive a butterfly up here because it's large enough to see it based upon the grid. Always grab the, the actual white though. Don't grab any of these or you'll accidentally scale these the wrong way. If you do that, no big deal. Control Z is undo. Command Z on a Mac. All right, so I like to put the center of the object right here, not over here. So we'll go Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry. Click N as in Nancy on the keyboard, and it will bring up the Transform menu. And we're going to zero this out. Zero, zero, and just zero. This should move, in this case, the butterfly right into the middle of the screen, or the grid. Again, practice navigation for a second. Alt, left mouse, middle mouse, right mouse. Okay. I'm going to add two more keyboard shortcuts to your um, menu here. Tab allows me to tab between object and edit mode. And Z allows me to translate between uh, wireframe and solid. 
I don't like having this a black butterfly. Okay, uh, it makes it hard for you to understand what the polygons look like. So we're going to take this and go over to the material, and we're going to delete this material that is black. Now you have a white butterfly. Let's convert the, the vectors over to polygons. So object, convert, mesh from curve. Okay, in order to see the polygons, again, we can hit tab, and there they are. Again, practice navigation <laughs> whenever possible. Let's go to face. and go ahead and click on one face. Now, clicking on one face is kind of tricky. Uh, it, if you zoom in, it's a little easier. And see the little dot in the center? That's the selection point of that face. So L on the keyboard over that dot will allow you to highlight the whole object. I've highlighted all the faces, and what I need to do is use a term called extrude. And extrude makes it so I can um, make this have a little bit more thickness than what it is now. So, Control E, don't touch anything, and then just right mouse click. Again, don't touch anything. Hit W on the keyboard. And move this up. Just has to be moved up just a little bit. So now if I go back to object mode, it should look like this. All right, now it has dimensions, but the dimensions, are, they're, they're in millimeters, which I use millimeters now for everything. See, the scale is insane. Scale is like 51,000. So let's go in here and zero out that scale. Let's go to Object, Apply, Rotation and Scale. Okay. We'll have to do that one more time, but I'd like to get it down to one at least. And right here the dimensions are nine millimeters. So I recommend for your first print, probably somewhere in the upwards of 30 millimeters, just to get started to understand things like fine lines and what that means in 3D print. And that's based upon your 3D printer, not mine. So everyone has a little bit more detail, some don't. But I would recommend probably 30. R on the keyboard, white, click and drag, until this reaches 30 millimeters in any one direction. So in this case, X is my 30. And then right here, this is in millimeters too, this Z, this is the thickness of the butterfly. For right now, again, just to get started, I would probably recommend like two millimeters. Okay, there we go. And even one 0.5 millimeters is fine too. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's this is all based upon my opinion. So, um, if you wanted to go fast, I would do 1.5, and you'll learn all kinds of crazy stuff based upon that. If you want a usable shape, I would say two. Um, they one would make a better keychain than the other. 1.5 would probably make a better necklace. You'll find out. All right. So again. Object, Apply, Rotation, and Scale. All right, now you're ready to export a still file. So File, Export, Still. And we're going to export that to the desktop.
And now you can follow the how to use NetFab video. All right, so that's your first 3D shape. Uh, if you are interested in how to poke another hole in it, I have a video coming up on how to insert a hole based upon a Boolean. So I suggest watching that anyway. It's, it's a very valuable skill to own. All right, please move on.